So what is a one-to-one -one function? A function f is said to be one-to-one -one or injective if f of x sub 1 equals f of x sub 2 implies x sub 1 equals x sub 2. All right, so what does this mean? Okay, this means that for one value of y, you can only have one value for x, right? So as you can see here, you have two values for y. You have f of x sub 1 and f of x sub 2, but they're equal, right? They're equal. That means there's only one y. That means that there should also only be one x. Here you have two x's, x sub 1 and x sub 2, but then they are equal, which means that there's only one x. So that's what we mean when we say one-to-one -one function. For one value of y, you can only have one value for x. Now, how can we see that graphically? Okay, so let me give you this graph right here. So this graph on the left is not a one-to-one -one function. This one is a one-to-one. Okay, now why is this not one to one? Well, because for one value of y, right? So let's say this is your y right here. You have two values for x, right? You have two values for x. So you have this x and that x, right? So for one value of y, you have two values for x. That is not one to one. On the other hand, if you look at this graph right here, for one value of y, say this one value for y right here, I only have one value for x, right? So if I say this is my y value, then I will also just have one value for x, right? So anywhere you look at this graph, for one value of x, you can only have one value for y. And so that's why this function is one to one. Okay, so that's how you look at it graphically. And in fact, we have a test for this. Okay, it's called the horizontal line test. Okay, so now this one is the horizontal line that we drew. Okay, so as you can see, for this horizontal line, we get two intersections. So this reminds us of the vertical line test. The vertical line test is a, is a test if, if a relation is a function or not, right? So you do this vertical lines, if more, uh, if more than one, if there are more than one intersection, that means that that is not a function. Now here, this is a test for one-to-one-ness, okay? One-to-one-ness. So you, you're testing if a function is one-to-one -one or not. And graphically, you do that by this test called the uh, horizontal line test, okay? The horizontal line test. Okay, so that's, that's it graphically. Now, what if our function is given as an equation? Okay, so let's say we have an equation f of x equals 3x minus 1. How do we know if this function is 1 to 1? Well, we just have to go back to the definition. The definition says if f of x sub 1 equals f of x sub 2 implies x sub 1 equals x sub 2, then that is a 1 to 1 function. So let's, let's apply that definition here in our function. So let's say I have my x sub 1 and x sub 2. Okay, so let's say what is f of x sub 1, right? So f of x sub 1 is 3 times x sub 1 minus 1. You just have to substitute uh, the values for, for x. Oops. You just have to substitute that right there. Okay, and then what is your f of x sub 2, right? What is f of x sub 2? Well, again, you just have to substitute x sub 2 for x. You get 3 times x sub 2 minus 1. So you now have f of x sub 1 and f of x sub 2. Now here it says that if they are equal, okay, so let's equate these two functions. So when we say, when we say f of x sub 1 equals equals f of x sub 2 that means we'll write we're going to write f of x sub 1 right what is our f of x sub 1 that's 3 x sub 1 minus 1 equals what's our f of x sub 2 that's 3 x sub 2 minus 1 and then we are going to simplify this equation we can cancel out 
negative 1 and negative 1 right here. And then after cancelling that out, we can divide both sides of the equation by 3. We can cancel out 3. And what are we left with? We're left with x sub 1 equals x sub 2. And there you have it. Okay? They are equal. Right? So we set f of x sub 1 equal to f of x sub 2. And we found out that x sub 1 is equal to x sub 2. And that is exactly what you mean by one to one function. So that's how you test if a if a function is one to one or not. You you find f of x sub one and f of x sub two, you equate them, then um, substitute the values, right? And then simplify and see if you will get to this equation x sub one equals x sub two. If you get to this equation, that means that that function is one to one. Now let me give an example of a function that is not one to one. Let me erase this. So, th this is an example of a function that is not one to one. Say f of x equals x squared. Okay. What is our f of x sub one? Well, f of x sub one equals x sub one squared. Our f of x sub 2 equals x sub 2 squared. Now let's equate f of x sub 1 and f of x sub 2. We will get f of x sub 1 equals f of x sub 2. So what is our f of x sub 1? Our f of x sub 1 is x sub 1 squared. Our f of x sub 2 is x sub 2 squared, right? And then what we're going to do is we're going to simplify, okay? How can we get rid of, of the exponents? Well, we have to get the square root of both sides of the equation, okay? So let's take the square root of both sides. Now remember, when you take the square root of both sides of an equation, don't forget to put plus or minus, plus or minus. Okay, which means that we have plus or minus x sub 1 equals plus or minus x sub 2. And here we have four possibilities, right? So here we can have we can have x sub 1 equals x sub 2. We can also have x sub 1 equals negative x sub 2, right? Because plus and minus. Then we can also have x sub, negative x sub 1 equals x sub 2. And negative x sub 1 equals negative x sub 2. So we, can, we have all of these possibilities right here. Which means that this is not 1 to 1. Because again, when you say 1 to 1, if you have f of x sub 1 equals f of x sub 2, you should only have x sub 1 equals x sub 2, not this one right here where you have many possible configurations.